Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, much respect to the brothers that are doing the work, and as always, Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. And hey, I just want to go into uh, the word, okay, this doctrine, um, this 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 word is likened unto a treasure, a treasure. And uh, that's the way I see it, you know. And uh, <clears throat> this word is going to uh, eventually lead to a rulership, a kingdom, okay, an inheritance. Um, if you start here in uh, Psalms 119 and 162, it says, I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. You see this? So it's like a treasure, this spoil, this doctrine is like in the two way. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, there's, we have a vast inheritance ahead of us. It's something to look forward to. You know, it's, I always go into how you should try and look past, uh, you know, Jacob's trouble and these things that are coming that are, some may say, oh, this is, we're coming into some bad times. But no, you got to get through the bad to get to the good, right? So uh, there's a, I, look, I try to look at the, look, look toward the kingdom is what I'm basically trying to say. Uh, let me get you another scripture real quick. It's a real quick video. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me see. Let's get um, Revelation three and eleven, and it says, like I said, uh, we're gonna we have a vast uh, inheritance. Uh, we kings and priests, Lord willing, I'm one of the elect. Okay, the Lord's gonna uh, we're gonna be joint heirs. In the kingdom, we're gonna have crowns, bro. We're gonna be, which means rulership. Uh, Revelation three, and start at verse ten. It says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patient." So that word again, right? I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse eleven. It says, "Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast, which is this word, right?" That no man may take thy crown. See this? So this is leading to a like I like I said, this this doctrine is going to uh, lead to a kingdom, a rulership, bro. That's what you want, man, right? <laughs> the people the people that are in power right now, they don't want to lose their rulership, man. You know, you know, they don't want to they don't want to not be in power, bro. A man, as men, men desire power. Okay, and that's something that. The Israelite man has not has not had. Okay, we we were created to be rulers and kings and priests. Okay, like I said, this word is going to lead to a kingdom. Uh, here in wisdom of Solomon six and twenty, it says, "Therefore the desire, it's like, therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom." See that? So this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which are these scriptures, is what's going to lead you to a rulership a kingdom bro and the word kingdom means dominion rulership okay um let's see here in isaiah 33 and start at verse 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure see so this wisdom knowledge which are these scriptures is going to preserve and protect you during Jacob's trouble. Also, you see, it's 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 a uh, it's going to preserve us, and it's also going to lead to a rulership. Okay, and this word, this wisdom. Uh, let me get you this real quick here in Matthew's thirteen and forty four. It says, "And the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth." And for joy thereof, goeth and selleth all that he had, and buyeth the field. You see this? So this 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 kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure. But this word, this is what's going to lead um, um, to a this wisdom, okay, which is going to lead to a kingdom. And it's also going to preserve you. 
And again, let's read it again in Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. Therefore, the desire, see, you have to have a desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom, you see. So, uh, let's see. Let's just go into uh, a few more scriptures. And let's go to Romans 11 and 33. And it says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways are past finding out. See, that? so the Lord, um, I, I, I it's, it's this wisdom, it says, if you notice, it says, how unsearchable are his judgments, his and his and his ways. See, the Lord is is, is this wisdom is likened unto a a fountain. Um, there is no end to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Most High, the Howard possesses. His his he is uh, what is the word? Um, all powerful and all knowing, omniscient. Okay, the word omniscient. I believe the word omniscient is, uh, let's get it, is all wisdom, all power. You see, let me get it real quick. Omniscient. Let's see. See this? It says, knowing everything, all knowing. See that? Um, all wise. See, our power is, is great, all seeing. So this wisdom, which is in us, is like a fountain. Uh, let me let me get you. That's why it's called the rivers of, 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 of water. A, a river is something that runs, that never stops moving. Uh, let's see. Let's get that real quick. Uh, what is it? Uh, rivers of, of living water. It says living water. See, it's this is an allegory, and it says here in John seven and thirty eight. It says, "He that." Let me see if I want to go up a bit. Yeah, let's go up a little bit on this one. It says, "This is an allegory. This is a metaphor." It started at verse thirty seven. It says, "In the last day, that great day." of the feast Yahweh stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink it's not talking about actual water it's talking about this word hearing and listening to this word he that believeth on me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water see this and it says belly which goes into your mind and it says shall flow rivers see of living water see that rivers of living water this a river is something that does not stop running you see that uh let me get you something else real quick and, and, and this once we are you know lord willing in the kingdom um this rivers of living water is going to continue it's not going to stop it it's not going to be like oh it's going to end at some point no this going to this wisdom um, it's going to continue. It's an unending, never-ending uh, stream of wisdom coming out of us, bro. I mean, like I said, man, just to have knowledge of things. Let's see. Let's yeah, start here. And start here in uh, Second Ezra's and. Let's start, let's get right to the point. It says, uh, start here in 47, it says, For in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain, see that, of wisdom. What is a fountain? It, doesn't, it says fountain of wisdom, see that? And the stream, see, of knowledge, see? So this fountain, let me get you another scripture real quick. Uh, let's get uh, Ecclesiasticus Sirach 1 and 4 says uh, wisdom 
have been created before all things and the understanding of prudence from everlasting. The word of the Most High is, is the fountain of wisdom and her ways are everlasting commandments. See this? So this is a fountain. It's a, it's a it was said her ways are everlasting commandments. The word of most the most high is a fountain of wisdom, you see. So this is a, a fountain is something that is um that is unending, it never ends. You see this? And it's gonna lead to a kingdom, you see. Uh Luke twelve and thirty two it says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, you see. So the Lord wants to give us the kingdom. He, the, the, he wants to give us the dominion. You see, see, that's what the Lord wants for us. So I just wanted to touch on that real quick, man. And it's something that, that to look forward to is that we have a vast future ahead of us. Uh, we're, to, we're going to inherit. We're going to be cold or we're going to be um, joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bakaladash, Shalom.